What's up guys, Glenn with Hustler Hacks. I'm gonna show you guys how to clean the bottom marker off of the Ross finds. I know sometimes they use marker, sometimes they use pen, Sharpie, different things. So we're gonna go through different surfaces, different markers, and uh, see how we can remove it, what we're gonna use. And uh, not really gonna see my face a whole lot in this video. We don't need to see it anyway. We just wanna see how we can remove the different stuff on the bottom. So let's start off with the things that you need. You will need a cleaning cloth, nail polish remover, Goo Gone, Q-tips, the shoe that you will be working with, and optional, I have a little placemat just in case any of this stuff spills. It's easy cleanup, but that's all you will need for this tutorial. So the first shoe we're gonna try out are some Mike Trout Nike cleats. These were 18 bucks at Ross. And the cleats have a totally different surface on the bottom, very smooth, that plastic. So this should be a lot easier to take off. I can see the price there. We're gonna use the Goo Gone for this. Just spray over it, we don't need to too much. And no need to use the Q-tips or anything. We're just gonna use the cloth and we're just gonna rub off the marker and you don't have to go too, I mean, you can go a little bit harder if you're not using a whole lot of Goo Gone, but um, it shouldn't be too, too difficult to take off. So there we go. And nothing left, all gone, pretty clean, pretty simple. Goo Gone does the trick. Our next shoe, men's Kobe 10. They put the price on the 10X right here on the very bottoms. Another smooth surface, so this one shouldn't be too difficult. The same thing with the Goo Gone. So we're gonna spray that in there. And the cloth, still, we don't need Q-tips yet. And we're just gonna scrub that over. You can hear it rubbing, rubbing noise, hear the sound, and there we go, now we can see the Kobe signature, looks good. Got the marker off, nice clean surface. So this does get a little tougher and tougher. They have the price here on the logo, and then I don't know what happened there, so they messed up. But Goo Gone again, I mean, I'm sure you guys Goo Gone for most of this stuff because it does work that good, and we don't have to put a lot of effort or anything. Um, I've noticed that if you're using, you know, like, strong 99% alcohol, 91% alcohol, that stuff uh, will start taking paint off the bottom of your shoe, so you don't wanna use that. Um, try to go in between here, especially it's tougher because of the textures and the traction of the shoe, but you're gonna have to use that. Rub it off with the Goo Gun, and we're done. There we go. You can see a little bit right there, but not a huge deal. Goo Gun got it off pretty easily. All right, so now they used pen on the very bottom. Uh, Goo Gone does not work that great with pen to remove it. Um, I've also been told hairspray works good. I tried hairspray, it didn't do it. So I also tried alcohol and that starts taking off the paint on the very bottom of the shoe. So I ended up getting nail polish remover and this was only a buck at the dollar store. Picked that up and uh, I put it into this little cap. I have the Q-tips, we're gonna dunk it in there We'll have the solution on here, and then we're just gonna rub that out here. And you're gonna, you're gonna start to see probably maybe like a little bit of the ink starting to kind of smear in there, and then we'll wipe it down after that. But um, I really don't like when they use pen. It is a little bit harder to get off. You might even see a little bit of the remains, but it's the best thing that I've used for it. So let's try to get that off. All right, you can see the ink on there on the uh, Q-tip. And we're gonna go over it one more time because we can still see a little bit, at least I can, I don't know if you guys can, but we can still see a little bit on there. Go a little bit, go one more time. And then we'll uh, wipe it down with the cloth. And we can still see a little bit. Let me see if I can show you guys but not too bad i mean it got most of it off you can't really tell um it has a price on there so i would go with this nail polish remover and i think it works the best to get pen off if you have a lighter surface it might look a little different 
but that's been the best bet for me so far when trying to take off the pin. And last but not least, the chicken and waffles that you guys saw in another video. And then the gum soles will also use Goo Gone like we had before. And I think it should get this off pretty easily. I mean, not much effort. They put that pretty easily on, a, on the bottom, not on the texture or anything like that. So it's just right there on the inner circle and it's gone. So let me know in the comments, what works for you guys? Do you guys use Goo Gone? Do you use alcohol or try to use any other stuff? That's what worked for me. I've been doing that for years and uh, no problems so far. So. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys use and this Wednesday I am going to have a live show. I am going to continue the Q&A but we're going to have a live show and that's going to be at 5.15 Mountain Standard Time. So uh, figure out what your uh, time zone so you guys can uh, chat with me while I'm going through the Q&A. We're going to talk about some other stuff if you guys have questions. Uh, during this whole thing you guys can ask me anything during the chat. So um, something new I want to do something live and help you guys uh, any way that I can so that's gonna be this Wednesday and maybe every single Wednesday um, Let's try it out for a couple of uh, weeks and see how it goes Let me know what you guys think about this video. My name is Glenn with Hustler Hacks. Go out and get it